Hello everybody, it's Lee from The Infinite Actuary, and today I'm going to talk about how to deal with schedule changes that you might need using the Today View in TIA Study. Now, first of all, if you're not using TIA Study, then you're probably still living in the bad old days. And in that case, if you missed a couple of days of study time, that meant you were going to need to probably work twice as hard to try to catch up with where you should have been with the study schedule you already worked out before you got started. Or you could spend all the time you needed to recalibrate your entire study schedule by hand to see what you should be doing which weeks. But with the Today View and TIA study, all of that is, well, it's, it's in the past. Now, the first thing I want to mention about doing schedule adjustments with TIA study is that you might not even need to bother doing schedule adjustments with TIA study. So let's take a look at this example. I started on the 29th of March studying for exam P, which I'm going to take over in May. But then... After I got a good start the first day, I actually missed my next two study days on Wednesday and on Thursday. So I was supposed to do A3-1 and A3-2 on Wednesday. On Thursday, I was supposed to have done A3-3, A3-4, and A4-1. And A4 so I feel like I'm pretty far behind coming in to the Today View to get ready to work on Friday. So do I really need to cover all of that stuff that I missed on Wednesday and on for Thursday now? Well, no, I'm not going to have to do all these items from Wednesday and on Thursday when I get to the Today View for today. Now, I do see that I was supposed to do a custom item of flashcards yesterday that I had put on the calendar myself. Forgot to do that as well. But on today's list of things to do, I only have A31 and A32. Those are just the items from last Wednesday. In fact, not only do I not need to do all the items from Wednesday and Thursday and the items that used to be on Friday, I actually only need to do the items that were for last Wednesday in this case. The Today View has managed to spread over all the rest of the study days that I have left, any of the items that were listed on Thursday. In fact, if we click over to Saturday, we can see that, yep, it contains all the items from last Thursday and actually one more item. So we do have a little more work to do tomorrow. And on Monday, we probably would have a little bit more work to do. And on Tuesday, we would probably have a little bit more work to do and so on. Now, in this case, we can see that Saturday we have a total of an hour and 10 minutes of videos to watch, which really that still isn't too bad. So we probably haven't made things too bad for ourselves so far by missing those couple of study days this past week. Now, if I kept missing study days, eventually, even though the Today View is going to try to spread out all my activities across all the study days I have left, eventually each one of those study days is going to get to be too busy for me. I'm going to actually not have enough time to finish everything that I'm supposed to do according to my schedule. And so once this amount of time down here on each of our given days starts to get too high for your comfort level, given the amount of time that you have to study on each of those days, that's when it might be time to actually even adjust your Today View schedule. And so you can do that in a couple of different ways. The first thing you might want to do, given our example where we missed a couple of study days, might just be to pick out a couple of the days where you weren't planning on studying before and convert those into study days. So let's convert this Friday the 8th into a study day, and maybe I'll go to the next Friday the 15th and convert that to a study day as well. So then once I've done that, I can come back and I'll see that on Saturday, actually, I've got now the same schedule that I would have had on Thursday. So the amount of things that have been scheduled for Saturday have now decreased because I've added more study days. Now, if you missed more study days up front and you really needed to make a bigger change to your schedule, or if you decided you needed to change your schedule because of some kind of event that was coming up that you hadn't originally planned for, you can edit this entire study schedule from here. And so once we're into the study schedule here, we can again add or subtract those days just like we did before. I can add them in there. And once I get down into the practice and review phase, I can add and subtract days there as well. I can also sort of adjust the number of practice and review days that I have scheduled using this green slider if I want to transfer some of those early practice and review days into study days that way. And so now once we're finished adjusting the days on which we plan to study, we'll go ahead and save this new schedule and the Today View will update everything automatically. Again, spreading out all the items that I need to complete during my learn phase among all the learn days that I have left to study on. And so that's schedule adjusting with the Today View. If you just miss a day or two along the way, Hakuna Matata, it's in the past. The Today View will take care of that for you by spreading out the activities the way you need to. No adjustments are really even needed on your part. If you do miss too many days and you want to add more days, it's easy to do directly from the timeline view or by clicking in to the Edit Study Schedule calendar. So as you can see, it's time to let those bad old days just go ahead and live in the past. 
Start studying today with TIA Study and the Today View.